Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock, and we're also going to talk about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock. We're going to be going over the newest PLTR stock price predictions and what analysts think of this particular company, on top of why a new analyst has initiated coverage of Palantir stock, which is going to give us a fantastic price target to determine if Palantir Technologies is a good buying opportunity. We're also going to talk about how the war over in Russia and Ukraine is actually going to benefit Palantir Technologies really heavily, and how Palantir Technologies could potentially reach $30 per share according to Morningstar. Lastly, we're going to talk about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock, and how SoFi Technologies can also hit $30 per share in 2022, so we're going to be going over some of the latest news developments, their financials, some fundamentals, and price targets for both of these companies in this video. For more videos on Palantir Technologies or SoFi stock, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if if you were new, comment down below your price targets for Palantir stock and SoFi Technologies for the year of 2022, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So right now, the PLTR stock price is currently trading at around $11.80 per share. And if you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company that serves both commercial clients as well as government agencies, and recently, there has been new coverage by an analyst from Piper Sandler that has given a price target for the PLTR stock. The analyst says that Currently, the PLTR stock is overweight right now. However, the consensus rating for the PLTR stock is a hold, and that is based on eight analysts. This comes from two buy ratings from analysts, four hold ratings from analysts, and two sell ratings. However, the analyst that recently initiated coverage on the PLTR stock has a price target of $15, which is very close to the consensus price target and price prediction for the PLTR stock, which currently sits around $15.38 regarding the 12-month price prediction for this particular company. However, the price targets go as low as $9 on the more bearish end, and as high as $31 on the the most bullish end. But at least the average price targets does give us a range of where Palantir stock could be by the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023. The reason why this analyst actually gives Palantir Technologies a $15 price target is due to its overall adoption, security of its platforms, and that its offerings are going to speed up, mainly because of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that is coming from the war between Russia and Ukraine. And this analyst believes this is going to be a fantastic catalyst for the PLTR our stock price for other government agencies to use Palantir Technologies because their platforms are so secure. This has caused some investors to buy back into Palantir Technologies because if we look at the trading volume for the PLTR stock, it's more than 21 million right now. That means that 21 million shares have traded hands at the time of this video and it's rapidly growing. And how we know this is that the average daily trading volume for the PLTR stock price is actually 52.8 million shares. And this could reinvigorate investors to jump back into the company, thus raising its overall PLTR stock price. So it's good news that currently the stock price is rallying. It has jumped by around 6.7% as of today. However, it still has a long way to go for a recovery because it's currently down around 36.4% since the start of the year. So we can anticipate further volatility in the PLTR stock price and potentially it dropping below $9 per share before things start to get better. However, with that being said, luckily their financial projections are enough to keep the stock above $10 per share as long as Palantir Tech Technologies continuously beats their revenues in their upcoming earnings reports. So in total, this is neither good nor bad news. This is very neutral news because we got a neutral price target of around $15, which is still above the current stock price of around $11.80. Although ideally you would want to get into the Palantir stock price around or below $9 per share. If you're going to hold the stock long term, it really doesn't matter as long as you're invested into the stock under probably $12, depending on how long you plan to hold this company. And if you don't know how how long you plan to hold Palantir Technologies, you should probably have a plan before you invest into certain companies, whether or not you're going to hold it for the long term or if you're going to trade off of the volatility. You want to have a plan before you invest into various stocks, and that is going to help you over the long term. Now, some good overall stock market news is that the indices are rallying today, such as the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ Composite, and the S&P 500, so that is also good news. However, the stock market is still extremely volatile right now, and we will have to see if this is going to actually be a full-fledged recovery. 
But now I want to talk about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, which currently trades at around $9.76 per share. The low-end 12-month analyst price target for this company is $12, and it's always good to see that the current stock price is trading below the bearish price target according to analysts, because this gives us a fantastic margin of safety. The average price consensus among analysts is $17 for the next 12 months, while the bullish price prediction for this company ranges anywhere from $20 to $22 per share. If you didn't know, SoFi Technologies is a fintech company that applies technology to personal financing, and they offer an all-in-one inclusive app that offers anything someone would need regarding financial products. The company also had a very strong earnings report in quarter four of 2021 and fantastic projections for 2022. Just to catch you up, they brought in revenues of around $279.88 million, which equates to around a 53.8% year-over-year increase for their revenues, and their earnings per share actually beat estimates by around one cent per share because it came in at a loss of 15 cents per share. More good news is that SoFi Technologies is looking very good fundamentally and financially, especially considering their quarter one projections for the first quarter of 2022, where their revenues are supposed to be around $280 million to $303 million. So this should invigorate investors to at least anticipate a revenues beat in the upcoming earnings report, which is going to be fantastic news. More good news is that their management projects around $180 million worth of earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization, also known as EBITDA, for the full year of 2022. The chief financial officer of SoFi even said in a statement on March 1st that for the full year of 2022, we expect to grow adjusted net revenue by 55% year over year to $1.57 billion and deliver adjusted EBITDA of $180 million. And clearly, I slightly paraphrased, but that's basically what he wants to communicate to investors. And these are very strong financial reports because huge companies like Block only brought in around $333 million worth of EBITDA and other comparable companies such as LendingTree, which basically brings in the same amount of revenues as SoFi Technologies. However, they're only bringing in around $60 million of EBITDA and this would make SoFi Technologies three times more efficient on an adjusted EBITDA basis than other companies such as LendingTree. And this brings me to my second point, which is going to be why I think SoFi Technologies is currently undervalued. Anything below $10 for SoFi Technologies is technically undervalued in my opinion if you're going to hold the stock for at least one to two years. And many analysts agree with my personal analysis, and they say that the SoFi stock price right now is currently undervalued. On the other hand, only about half of financial reporters, specifically from Seeking Alpha, say that the stock is undervalued because the majority of them actually just have a hold rating for SoFi Technologies. However, of these financial reporters and analysts, around nine of these say that SoFi Technologies is a fantastic buying opportunity, and six of the nine of these say it's a very strong buying opportunity right now because they believe SoFi will either meet or exceed their forward 2022 financial projections, and honestly, that's exactly what I believe. Now, can SoFi Technologies reach $30 in 2022? In short, yes, this is possible, but I don't think it's very plausible, and I'll tell you why. The stock price has absolutely plummeted around 58% recently. As you can see from the chart on screen, it has absolutely just dumped in its overall share price due to a plethora of various macroeconomic factors as well as geopolitical tensions around the world. And I don't see these cooling off anytime soon, at least not within the current year. And this is going to be a huge weight for various growth stocks, including SoFi Technologies. However, fundamentally and financially, yes, you could argue that SoFi Technologies could be worth Worth around $30 within the next year or two. However, right now, if we take into consideration the current market environment, I really don't see this happening based on the newer developments. Now, if you ask me this question about six months ago, I would probably have had a different tune. However, based on the current market environment, I don't see this particularly happening. But regardless of that, the current stock price is trading at a good deal right now because it is below $10 per share. For SoFi Technologies SOFI stock to hit or exceed $30 in 2022, it's not only going to have to meet their financial projections, but far exceed them, and I don't know if that's actually going to happen for this particular company. For the long term, though, SoFi Technologies does look like a good long-term investment based upon the leadership of the company, as well as their overall market moat and the fundamentals and financials. Also, the rising interest rate environment is actually going to be beneficial for financial technology companies, such as banks, neobanks, fintech companies, 
these and buy now pay later companies and because SoFi Technologies fits into these categories this could actually make them more profitable. The only problem with this is that due to higher interest rates although it's going to make them more profitable per loan it may lower the amount of overall loans that they're going to be able to land. However compared to other growth companies at least the financial sector are going to be able to raise their interest rates as well and kind of make up for any impact that this is going to have on the overall market environment which is good news. So very good companies such as well-known banks such as Bank of America could actually benefit from the upcoming interest rate hikes. But despite this SoFi Technologies ability to execute on their projections what management is saying and their overall fundamentals we can make a good case that SoFi Technologies has a large amount of upside. So that begs the question is SoFi Technologies a good buying opportunity right now? Should we sell the company or should we hold it for the long term? And honestly this depends on your personal investing goals as well as what you want for this particular company because I think this company is overall foundationally pretty good. I personally am going to hold this company for the long term without allocating more than 5% of my portfolio to it. So in my personal opinion it's a buy under $10. And if you are a long term holder then holding the company would also be a beneficial strategy but this is going to depend on your overall investing strategy, your investment style and your portfolio allocation and how much risk you can actually take on in this current market environment. Ideally in a market environment like this you would want to have a very low margin and invest in a very safe ETFs and dividend stocks as well as good well-known blue chip stocks. However, I personally am more of an aggressive long-term investor, so I personally am going to be buying up growth stocks that have been hit very hard because of the current market environment. However, overall, this particular financial reporter from Seeking Alpha has a hold rating on SoFi Technologies until he sees major evidence that they are going to continue to scale their overall revenues and financials throughout the year of 2022, and if SoFi Technologies can even meet their current projections. And although I think this is very wise to do, I would rather be proactive already thinking in my mind that I do believe this company is going to outperform and have multiple earnings and revenue beats for their upcoming reports so I can actually get ahead of the wave before the stock price even starts to surge and starts to appreciate again. So overall, the PLTR stock and SoFi Technologies are pretty good stocks to buy if you can get them below $9 to $10 per share respectively, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember to smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next YT video.